Hello everyone and welcome to IDPS. IDPS means I diagnose and prefer solutions. My name is Ulumaiwa Victor Ogunshala and today I've got something interesting for everybody. Whether you are a management student anywhere in the world or you own your own business anywhere in the world or you are working in an organization anywhere in the world, what we have for you today is interesting for all of us. Today we are talking about KPI, Key Performance Indicators. So what exactly do we mean by KPI. As you can see on the smart board, KPIs is a quantifiable measure a company uses to determine how well it's missing its goals, its operational and strategic goals. Every organization has got operational goals. Every organization has got strategic goals. So we want to know how well we are performing. Are we meeting our goals and objectives? We can use KPI to determine if we are meeting our goals and objectives. If you quickly come with me to the whiteboard, I'd like to show you my uh, definition of KPI. I say KPI is a measurable value that de demonstrates how effectively the company is achieving its key business objectives. Every organization has got their objectives, and these are the business objectives of that organization okay so we want to know how the organization is doing is the organization actually achieving its key objectives we can use kpi to determine this okay also uh, we have high level kpis that can be used to uh, uh, focus on the overall performance of the organization while we have lower level kpis that may focus on specific departments so i hope that we understand that kpis are uh, uh, measurable values or we can say quantifiable uh, measure which companies can use to determine how well uh, they are meeting their operational and strategic goals. Let's quickly look at examples on the on the smart board. So we have here our sales team. If the sales team wants to check their performance, if the sales team wants to determine how well they are meeting their operational and strategic goals, the sales team might want to track new revenue. What's up with new revenue? Is it on the increase or is it on the decrease? That tells the sales team if they are meeting their operational or strategic goals or not. Let's look at customer support team. Customer support team might want to track how well it's meeting its strategic uh, operational goals. A customer support team might measure the average old time for customers on the phone. Okay, how averagely do we keep customers? Uh, how 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 long do we keep customers on the phone uh, on, on the average? And that will help. Uh, the customer service department to know if they are doing how well they are doing uh, operationally. Let's look at the marketing group. A marketing group will look at the contribution of marketing generated sales leads. What about the human resource? The human resource department will look at employee engagement or they might want to look at uh, 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 employee engagement or they might want to look at uh, employee turnover how many staff are leaving the organization okay other areas of the business will look at efficiency of the processes so again kpis are there to demonstrate effectively uh, how a company is achieving its key business objectives what are the different types of kpis that we have we have quantitative KPIs, that's quantitative indicators. Uh, as the name implies, uh, these KPIs are presented with numbers. We have qualitative ind indicators. Uh, these KPIs cannot be presented with numbers. We have leading indicators. Uh, these are input-oriented and signal future results. And then we have lagging indicators. These are output-oriented. They are easier to measure, but harder to improve or influence. Uh, what exactly is the importance of key performance indicators? Okay, Why is it important for an organization to know how well it is doing? Why is it important for an organization to determine if they are achieving their main objectives or not? Firstly, KPI helps to identify areas for improvement <coughs> within the organization. Do we need to improve on our finances? 
Do we need to improve on employee morale? Do we need to improve on customer satisfaction? KPI will tell you that. So if you want to spot the areas for improvement, KPI is a very good tool. KPI also helps to measure progress, okay? Progress within different departments of the organization. KPI helps to monitor company health, okay? You want to know how well the organization is doing, uh, how it, uh, is, is the organization moving towards becoming a market leader, or is the organization losing more uh, segments to competitors? KPI will tell you that. KPI helps to solve problems and tackle opportunities, okay? KPI supports strategy execution. And lastly, uh, to measure where the business is now, okay, where are we now in business? Where did we start from? Where are we coming from? And where do we need to go? KPI tells you exactly uh, these answers, okay? So this is the importance of KPI. And lastly, when implementing KPIs, we have to make sure that we select KPIs that are aligned with our business strategy. The KPIs selected must have clear links to overall uh, performance of our businesses. So KPIs must be well aligned with our business strategy. Having too many KPIs may be harmful for business, okay? Because this may make it difficult to communicate the plan to staff, okay? Businesses should look to implement not more than five KPIs. Although, different departments can have their own specific KPIs. And lastly, it is better to keep KPIs simple, okay? Because they are easier to measure and then it's easy to communicate the KPI plans to the wider team. Ladies and gentlemen, that's just your lecture on key performance indicators. We'd like to hear from you at IEPS. Please send us an email at info at ipsconsults.com or go to our website www.ipsconsults.com and get in touch with us. As you know, we like to serve you uh, better. We love to educate the world. Thank you very much. As you know, we will talk about our passion and our passion at IEPS is that Africa must develop. So we speak to all Africans anywhere in the world. Keep doing all you can to make sure that Africa is united and keep doing everything you can to promote the development of the African continent. Africa must indeed develop. Thank you. In English language, I'd like to say thank you. Dutch language from the Netherlands, I say thank you well. Uh, from Yoruba language, Nigeria, West Africa, we say Eshio. Bye.